Hello people, and welcome to the 10th episode of Five Builders 1 City Season 2. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And before we get started with anything in this series on the channel, um, I owe you guys an enormous thank you. If it wasn't for you um, pestering the guys in Season 1 um, for me to be included and championing my name uh, across the YouTube channels, uh, I probably wouldn't have been invited into this series. Uh, so a huge thank you for all the support, um, it really does mean the world. And uh, I am very excited uh, to be working on this little collaboration, um, of course, with some wonderful YouTubers. Uh, Zardis, who's got us started here, in a classic Zardis fashion. Uh, a nice little start in town. And then uh, the wonderful City Planner Plays has come in as well, and uh, developed a little suburb out here, alongside a little farmland too. Very nice, very nice. It's also got some highway action happening here as well. Very cute indeed. And then Lee Hawkins, who uh, took the save file last week, uh, did a wonderful traffic fix on this intersection here. So a huge shout out to Lee. He's also come up and started to develop the first university in the city. Using a little trade school campus up this end. And a bunch of stuff over here as well. So there's lots to get involved with. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always a case of where do you start, right? There's uh, so many opportunities. So many opportunities. Uh, however, I think I have marked out a little area here. I'm kind of eyeing up this little head of land uh, where the highway is for uh, an extension of Zardas' waterfront here. So he's obviously gone quite industrial. Uh, there's a fishing harbour here as well. And uh, obviously lots of industry. So I'm thinking why don't we continue this waterfront along with a little nightlife build uh, to lie next to and underneath the highway. I think that'll be quite nice. So I think that's what we're going to do today for our first episode. And then um, just a fair warning um, for those that are maybe coming from the other guys' channels. Um, <laughs> I am a vanilla player and this save is extremely heavily modded. So bear with me. Um, we're on a learning curve together here. But uh, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. <laughs> we will find out as the series progresses, right? Um, so there's a little bit of admin that needs to be done couple of cemeteries that have emptied and filled up so we'll we'll set those to go likewise with the uh, landfill site here as well but otherwise I think we're all right I think we're okay uh, okay so it looks like Zardas here he has started using um the walkable seawall keys but no one's currently picking them up and I think that's because they're not hooked in so we'll see what we can do here yeah, so first of all I'm going to start preparing uh, my landmass to I'd be a little more friendly to what I'm after here. So let's start terraforming out. We're going to level out to uh, the layer that the industrial area is currently sat on. Now I'm just going to push out a little more breathing room from the highway for us to play with. Now, annoyingly, this little head of land, it just falls outside of the map. Uh, and we're not quite ready to unlock these tiles yet. So I'm just going to terraform it back into the boundary. Just so we've got that little bit of room to play with. Okay. I think that'll be alright. I think anyway. <laughs> I hope um, none of the other guys shout at me. But I guess we'll see, right? I guess we'll see. Uh, alright, so let's continue to expand uh, Zardas' walls. Uh, so he's gone for the version without fences here. Um, but I think... So I think I'm going to upgrade them into the version with the fences... And, uh, space already occupied, but I believe Control and A will um, activate Anarchy. <laughs> Welcome to heavily modded gameplay, everyone. I have uh, watched a few mod tutorials, <laughs> so we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. So I think I'm going to start bringing this seawall out in very straight increments and snap into the road guidelines of the roads themselves. Okay, and we'll just keep this going here, and then let's get a nice big uh, straight parallel run down here, up and alongside the highway. So I think already, this is going to be a nice extension of Zardis' port. It's going to help box in that nice kind of port bay harbour vibe as well, extending the key down here. So I think I'm fairly happy with that. Um, so in order to get people using this, um, oh, it looks like... Okay, yeah, Lee's University has uh, just hit the end of year. That's fine. Um, so we're going to hook in with some keys here. So let's turn off all our snapping. 
and let's see what we can do. So I believe that should count as a connection. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. There's a little bit of grass spilling onto the key, um, so let's see if uh, uh, our friend Move It will help with that. Okay, <laughs> that's the extent I'm going to use Move It, so I've used it now. My subscribers can't shout at me. And then we'll just see if this pathway starts to get some use. I'm hoping that it will. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like we get some people using the walkable keys now, which will be nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so that's, that's going to be good. Um, so I believe Lee has also brought in some trams into the area. There's not that much public transport in the city yet. And uh, City Planner has thrown in one of the new train stations over here as well. This is a really nice asset. And there's just some... Oh, I kind of want to rework this. <laughs> I want to put... Um... I want to put like a plaza out front of us. Whoa, we're, we're, <laughs> we're just getting distracted. Let's not get involved in that yet. Let's focus on Lee's trams. Okay, so they're coming through the industrial area. And I think we can work with this. I think, because I want to bring some trams down into the waterfront as well. So why don't we start upgrading these roads here into tram roads as well. And then we can factor Lee's trams into the area. Okay, and then we'll switch over to some tram only roads too. And we'll come back onto road guideline snapping as well. And also angle why we're leaving this area. And then we'll start to develop um, a little bit of waterfront tram action here as well. Not bad so far, I don't think. I think I'm fairly happy with this. And again, we'll keep these uh, pathways coming down as well. Let's make sure we keep everyone hooked in. Uh, and also develop a little bit of green belt too. So let's come off with all our snapping. And I think we'll go for... A little bit of vanilla gravel path. And just had to develop just the, the smallest little green belt designs just to help start decorating out this waterfront here. And we will quickly eat into <laughs> the node count in this map. Hopefully we don't use too many, but we'll see. Alright, let's get some cute little fences on the go as well. And then we are playing with a whole bunch of tree assets too, so we'll see what we think of some of these. Let's bring our brush size down to singular. How about we just start placing a couple of these little, I think it's the alder pack, is it? Yeah. Okay. A few little alders around here. We have one of these short pine looking things as well. These are quite cute. All right. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and throw down some overgrowth as well. Just add a little bit of texture into the grass. Take it away a little bit from there too. And then possibly just bring our little nature reserve fence into this area as well. And I don't think I'm adverse to complementing with a little bit of commercial here too. Possibly a little 4x3 number to set up against the key. I guess we'll see. So it looks like he's going to come pick this path up as well. Let's see where they're headed. So they're going to the pharmacy. Alright, at least they're using the keys to get around then. Yeah, lots more people picking them up down here now too. So we'll probably add a little pathway in um, each of these intersections. And then how about we talk about a repeated tree design um, to also sit up against... Uh, this key, just to help decorate it a little bit, we've got a whole bunch of really cute trees to choose from. <laughs> it's almost spoiled for choice. This is why I don't play modded. There's um, <laughs> it's just so much to choose from. Uh, Alright, let's go for maybe a slightly smaller spacing than this. Let's take it down to about 25 meters. Maybe even a touch smaller than that, possibly down to 22. Yeah, okay, I think that'll be alright. One to our freeform tool as well. And then think if we can get maybe four of these these pines. Alders again, okay. Uh, into these little spaces here, we'll uh we'll have a fairly nice time. So also make sure that we turn off auto default on the prop line tool. And then one more in here as well. And hopefully this will start making a little bit of difference to the waterfront as well. And we can possibly even get involved with some more fencing too. Yeah, just to help border up 
against the main road here. Perhaps park fence. I think park fence is going to be the most appropriate, isn't it? So we'll keep this running for the majority of the length too. Keep it in fairly straight, rigid segments. Not too much curvature in them. Alright, what have we got here as well? A bookstore? Mm, okay, that's fine. We'll allow that to stay. Uh, we'll of course tidy up with terraforming um, on these keys as well, just so it's not kind of mounding up against the uh, the roads like that. But alright, I think that's okay, isn't it? I think that's alright. So we'll keep these tree patterns going uh, across the, the waterfront as well. Um, so I do want to uh, paint out an area here, uh, a district even, um, because uh, we're going to set a nightlife specialisation on this area here today, and I guess we'll just kind of take up this head of land where the highway flows over. Uh, and then let's start to discuss bringing some roads down into the area too. So we are playing with the vanilla extension mod or whatever it's called. There is a mod list down in the description if you guys want to go and check it out. And uh, we have a whole bunch <laughs> of new roads. Oh wow, so much choice. Which one do you even go for? Which one do you go for? Um, so I would preferably like a wider road to maybe come through this area, so we could possibly bring one down here. Um, city planner might kill me. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is acceptable city planning. But I think I want to widen this road here, just so we've got a nicer run down into this uh, nightlife waterfront. So I think we'll do that. Let's have a look at some wider roads and uh, see what we've got to play with. Uh, so how about some of these four lane two way with grass? Maybe not grass through the industry area. Might be a little bit odd. Um, but I guess we'll see, right? Let's pause the game and upgrade and just have a little look at some of these roads. Again, it's the first time I've ever really used them. Looks like this is a water treatment plant here as well. Let's uh, grab our friend and move it and just knock it back off the, the pavement a little bit. Hope you guys are proud. <laughs> I'm not used to using this many mods. Uh, let's turn the traffic lights off as well. Um, there was none here. So again, City Planner might kill me. We'll see. <laughs> if you guys don't hear from me. City Planner has taken me out. Uh, Alright, so let's kind of discuss some roads. Uh, to sit up against the waterfront and make up the majority of the structure here. So we'll test out a few ideas. A large avenue with grass is always a favourite. But again, I'm kind of feeling pressured into using maybe some of these fancier uh, mod asset roads. There's just, there's so much choice. I do like the grass as well though. <laughs> um, okay, I think we'll go with the grassy ones. At least for a little while yet. Yeah. We'll also use Move It uh, just to get rid of that kind of broken texture. Just bring the road in a little bit closer. All right, and let's have a little discussion about how we're actually going to bring uh, this into the area. Let's come on to just the angle snap. And that should maintain that close distance there as well, which it seems to be doing, which is nice. And then again, we're going to come out with our freeform tool. And then we'll bring this on a slight curvature, and again, there's almost room to carry on extending this green belt as well, if we want to. Which we will. So again, the kind of very similar patterns will just keep these little pathways going, using as many nodes as we can. <laughs> but it's going to be alright, I think, okay? I think everyone's going to have a nice time here. Everyone appreciates a little bit of fencing. Let's take the angle snap off as well while we're here. And then we can just repeat these kind of smaller uh, older designs that are making an appearance in this area. And we'll keep... I guess we want to bring this older pattern down as well, so maybe keep this space free. Let's take away this little bit of detailing as well. Alright. Okay. Um, so in terms of what's coming here, um, it has left the industrial zoning in that Zard is placed, but I think I would prefer the clean rundown, so I think I'm just going to clear up the tiles that sit against the arterial and leave this free so we don't get many people uh, stopping and starting here. So we'll allow them to grow on the smaller side roads, and the same with this commercial as well. Let's clear it up. Take away those guys as well. 
And same with you. Yeah, you're gone. That's fine. So there's opportunities for detailing down this road as well. I think there's been not a massive lover of these. <laughs> I'm not, um... I'm very particular about asset placement and what assets are allowed to grow, and this is not one of my favourites, and there's quite a few of them knocking about. Might replace those in another episode. <laughs> Maybe. We will see. We'll see. Alright, so this is kind of coming together, right? We're kind of developing this waterfront now. Uh, we definitely want to get some trams uh, flowing around this area. Uh, so let's come back into our road here. Let's grab road length and angle. And how about a unique building in here as well? Maybe let's throw down... How about the Lazarette Plaza? I'm going to steal the Lazarette Plaza for this build. We'll have this here. I don't think I'm totally adverse to that. Um, in terms of public transport, we have no underground or no metro in the city yet. Yeah, there's just trains, which is currently only accepting intercities, and the trams, which is fine. So why don't we use this as an opportunity to start a metro line, and um, perhaps using one of the new underground stations, because I know we are using these. All right, let's have a little look at the asset orientation here, of course. Um, let's maybe switch down to a smaller road. Let's go for just a regular one with grass, I think I'll be all right. Um, and then we'll snap this onto the road guideline of the highway so we remain parallel. This is a fairly straight stretch of the highway, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's fine. Uh, now let's have a look at how we can place this in. So again, I think I would rather have it kind of orientated to this angle here. Yeah, like that. So we'll start a metro system from here. And of course, this can run... Uh, in both directions, it doesn't have to just go one way. So we'll bring this out and make sure that we are on our angle. And we can prepare it to cross the river uh, whenever we get over there. It's quite a while away yet, I imagine. And then where would be a nice place to bring this? I guess outside of Phil's train station. We can possibly squeeze in, although we are going to suffer noise pollution problems. Although, <laughs> they already are from the train station, so I guess a metro wouldn't make a vast amount of difference here. Uh, okay. Um, sorry, sorry, City Planner. <laughs> I'm just going to rip out this one square, mate, and we're going to build um, a very quick, brief, and easy uh, metro plaza, just to help accommodate this, okay? So, we can't centralise, but that's okay. Now let's throw it down here, and then we'll just get some nice curves, maybe a little bit of freeform as well if we dare, and then hook in here as well. And then we can also extend this metro line out to go hook into maybe some of Lee's builds over there as well. So at least we've got a metro system started in the city now. Okay, so I've just brought the key around the head of the land here under the highway, just so it kind of boxes off this area nicely. But I think what we'll do is carry on bringing in at this road right here. So maybe trim off a touch of this. We'll bring this in, switch down to our small roads again, and then trim this off. So let's we'll sort of upgrade this into the grass ones. And then perhaps we can develop a, a little bit of park life over here as well. And um, so there is a rail line here uh, which runs across the river. Um, this is the river? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, so I think what we'll do is start to introduce maybe um, a little bit of kind of road against rail action. And help create a little bit of a border. And then once uh, we do eventually have trains uh, flowing down these rail lines, we should be able to have a nice little drive-by with our sims as well. We could possibly create a crossing here if we wanted to. Which I think would probably be a smart idea. So let's prepare that. Once we're elevation stepping, we want to force it to the ground. And that'll generate us a little rail crossing. And then we'll just leave that road there for whoever takes that part of the city on. That's, uh... Sounds like their problem. <laughs> nothing to do with me. So let's have a look at these road guidelines again now. Let's maybe give ourselves a little more breathing room for that extra detailing. We can hook in here as well. 
and then we'll bring this up and against the metro station. And down to there too. Gives us some nice shapes to work with. Uh, and then we can, might as well make this a part life area. Uh, so let's go ahead and paint out ourselves a little part life district. And give it a... Probably just the main gate is going to be fine. And then we can box this in with detail as well, of course. Let's go ahead and just grab some regular park fence. And then just hug the edge of this road, probably up until the rail. And then I imagine I'm probably going to want to switch up to some oil industry fence here. Oh, there's new fences too. There's a sound wall. Interesting. <laughs> And a sound wall with steel barrier. Alright, probably not the vibe I'm after today, but we'll use them at some point. Then we'll also grab our oil industry fence here. And then run this parallel up along the rail. I think that'll give us that nice kind of heavy cargo vibe. And then just keep this running down with these tracks here. And of course, if any of the guys want to use these tracks, they can easily just take out a bit of road here to get it to run the way they want. But I think we'll be okay with that. Of course, we want to do some water pipes, and um, I will obey <laughs> City Planner here, because again, you could murder me. Um, we'll, we'll stick to the roads. You know, he's a fan of this. I used to do this in Palavan, but I just get to the point where I'm like, who cares? <laughs> I just need, um, just need water coverage, just get it down. But uh, it is very satisfying to get them under the roads like this, so we'll stick to it in this city at least. Now, let's continue to develop the road network um, around here as well. So let's grab this regular road again. We'll come on to our angle and road length too. And then we'll probably bring it down to here. And then let's just bring it just, just into the road. And I think we're going to start zoning. So we're pretty even across the board at the minute. Actually, residential is the lowest. So we'll just start to introduce... Some basic commercial shapes here. Let's also get some office sewing in as well. Just to satisfy that industrial demand. Kind of go for mixed use sewing in. Let's get maybe a little 3x3 three three office in. Let's also possibly look at some park assets as well. How about tourism and leisure stuff? So we could use some of the marinas here if we want to. Although they do want road access, which I'm sure we can fix with mods, but we'll have a little look at some of the other assets. Can't imagine you get a dog park over here, not where the nightlife is. But it is quite a nice asset. And it fits perfectly, <laughs> you know, if, um, if it fits, I sits. So I think we'll leave that in. Maybe complement that with a little bit of office zoning too. And then get some commercial in here as well. And then we need to actually discuss a turnaround point for our trams. Uh, so let's have a little a little discussion about that, if you will. I think I'm going to turn it around in the park area. Or possibly here as well. Let's have a look. So I can connect in. God, what mod is this? What's, is this anarchy? <laughs> Why has nobody told me about this before? Fantastic, amazing. Alright. Not not too uh not too displeased with that, I don't think. And I guess we can just uh turn it back around here. So it probably makes sense to actually keep these as one way tram roads as we come in. And then we'll upgrade this into uh, one way with tram tracks as well. I guess that doesn't need to be one way. And then we can feed it in there. Okay. Very nice. Uh, so let's bring in uh, one of Lee's trams. Uh, we'll stop. Uh, we'll stop in the green belt, I think. How are we feeling about a tram stop here? I don't think that's too bad. That's going to be all right. Um, and then we'll stop here as well. Uh, right outside the Lazarette Plaza. I think that'd be nice. Let's have a look what assets are coming in. 
Again, I want to remain quite particular as to what's developing. Not a massive lover of that one in this particular type of build. So we'll leave that be. Got some more commercial space there too. I think what we'll do is, I think palms might be a little bit out of place in this area, but we'll try them anyway. Let's have a little look what we think. And we can possibly bring at this pathway all the way down here. Again, I kind of feel like palms might clash with all the uh, kind of the pines and the alders that we've got going on in this area. I'm getting some people moving through here now as well. There's a lot of tram lines here, a lot of tram nodes. I'm assuming that's the mod that's doing that. Oh yeah, the uh, the trams do clip through as well. But let's pretend we didn't see it. I'm sure um, <laughs> some of the other guys can help me fix that. Might have to jump into the group chat and find out why, but uh, we'll learn together here. Continue to bring uh, these little path connections uh, down into the walkable keys as well. Just uh, try and straighten them up as best as we can so they're not got this little lopsided effect on them. We'll hopefully see some people begin to pick this up now too. Let's also repeat the tram stop on this side as well as it makes its return. We'll also bring another one of our pathway connections down from this tram stop into the key. Yeah, so as people coming down now, they're starting to recognize these pathways as a possible connection, which is always appreciated. Some people cycling here now too. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look at how our buildings are getting on. Again, I think I'm fairly happy with that one. Keep it in. See how we're getting on. I'm not a massive lover of these assets, to be totally honest. And I think we'll also bring another road connection through here too. Maybe trim off our build at this end and perhaps allow some forest to develop around this end of the interchange. Yeah, so just with this fractured zoning that we've got going on with the angles we're working with, I think we're going to take away the zonings here. And possibly, <laughs> if it's acceptable, uh, to continue developing uh, the green belt palette for the area using our vanilla path. And uh, nature was at events, which is a firm favourite. So we'll keep these going. Again, just these kind of um, crescent half moon shapes will serve us nicely. And of course, a couple of short little pines too. Alright. Touch of undergrowth as well, maybe. And perhaps some. Some fence along here as well. So I'm just starting to see a little bit more life coming to the area now, which is always appreciated, I think, isn't it? I think it is. Um, let's go ahead and get these metro lines hooked up um, so we can start to see uh, a little bit of metro action happening uh, within the city. We'll bring it back there. And of course, we can't use the other side of the platform yet because this is the end of the line, but we can always redraw this uh, metro line in uh, once we get some more folks coming out this way. Okay, so we are missing that power connection now, which is fine. And we definitely don't want to uh, lose that power. So we'll draw in some temporary zonings here. Okay, so we're already getting some people using the metro line. Let's see how it's performing down outside of Phil's train station. See how many people are actually getting off the train station to come and grab this. Look at all these walkers. Oh yeah, I saw this in Lee's episode. Okay, so this is where it is. This should be a part life cheese, really. This will make us a bunch of money. Okay, maybe in the second episode we'll get into kind of going around and detailing everywhere. Looks like some of the national trains are backing up here as well. But either way, people are picking up that metro line now too, which is always appreciated. There's still a fair few of them driving though as they get off the station. But almost all of them are taking this pathway out. Okay, yeah, we'll 100% turn this into a part life cheese, I think. Uh, that'll be a really profitable one. So it looks like this 
tram line's just bent out a tiny bit. Let's bring it onto its straight road. And these pillars might be a little too close, so let's try and slide them over a touch. Maybe down this way, just so they're not as close to the road there. And then we'll allow some more of our 4x4 office zone to develop. We'll allow these to kind of grow up and see what we think. Um, how are we doing for amenities within the city? Uh, fire is all right. Fire is perfect at the minute. Police is very high again as well. How are we doing for schools? Okay, so kind of running on empty towards elementary and high school and at universities. Way up, so we'll be alright for them, I think. And I think I'm going to trim back the nightlife area up from here. Just won't have it on this side of the highway. Bring it down there, maybe just bring it out. Touch more, just so it's kind of not setting off the OCD. There we go, it was not quite perfect, but we get the idea. And then again, I'm going to start zoning. I want some commercial to kind of face this train line here, right? So let's have a little look at possibly introducing uh, some commercial patterns now to sit within these spaces here. Get some 4x4s in as well. Try and aim for those uh, chunkier commercial assets. Then why don't we just develop a little bit of a uh, really basic casual green belt to uh, sit in this area. Start bringing some vanilla path through. Actually, maybe let's change it up to... How about some of the nature as a path with decorations? How do we feel about that here? Yeah, I think I'm on board. We want to make sure we're drawing in from right to left as well, so we uh, maintain these little fairy lights on the right-hand side. And then the same again here as well. He says drawing in left to right. <laughs> it's not the right way. There we go. So we'll let these guys grow up as well. Again, we've still got some of that industrial demand. Uh, so let's start complementing... Uh, this little metro stop here with some office zoning and i think maybe we could introduce some green cities into here possibly now uh, the green city zoning does pair really well with these new underground metro stations so i can't imagine it being the worst thing in the world and also continue to bring in some of those um nightlife vibes into the area as well and make sure we get plenty of that zoning in today and not there. That's okay. Uh, there is a possibility for another pathway here, um, which will actually make a a decent length. What have the guys used over here? This is just regular vanilla path, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I think we'll stick with that then. Uh, let's go for this little pathway that's going to meander through this area. And we can bring it around the back of these zonable spaces too. And now hook people into this section. Let's see how we're looking again. Might use plot the growables here to refine these assets a little bit. <laughs> it was like two of my least favourite assets just happened to have spawn in. Are we gonna go for the hat trick? Oh we are as well. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> My least three favourite commercial assets. Um, all the same one spawns in. Of course it does. What else? Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Literally couldn't write it. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. So let's maybe uh, pop open our forest brush here. Uh, and let's go for a new brush. And we'll pop in a couple of these alders. Uh, possibly a couple of these little furs as well. I don't want kind of too many tall, massive ones. Just a, a nice generic green belt pattern. We'll just have a, a little... A few taps of this and see what we think. And maybe thin it out a bit more than that. Let's bring this over here as well. Bring our strength down. And hopefully just develop a little bit of greenery. That's going to sit around the highway. And then just kind of help blend this dead space in and border up against those rail lines as well. See how we feel about this from kind of the ground level. 
Don't think I'm hating it. There's already people picking up these pathways as well. We'll also grab the rest of this oil industry fence too. Okay, so a little walking path through to this area is going to start getting some use now. And I, I think I am kind of on board with setting up um, a green cities area. Just because I want the assets to complement this green belt and the metro station too. So let's paint ourselves out another district. Give it the old organic and local produce specialization. And then again with my green cities assets. I'm not massively bothered about asset selection. They all kind of look good and blend in nicely with each other. So we'll leave that there as well. And I think just to help blend in. This oil fence that runs along the railway will bring it down to this level. So we'll start zoning up some of these other spaces and uh, see what grows. See what comes in. So I'll enjoy a little bit of soy and lentils here. Some of these cafes are nice as well. A little outdoor hipster cafes. I think they're quite nice. I just kind of see the pairing uh, really splendidly with. Oh, we actually got a car park as well. <laughs> the one time we don't really want one is the one time we get one. Of course it is. Uh, and I think when we've got kind of a shattered zoning like this, just because of the road angles that I've chose, um, let's maybe continue uh, to mooch about with our green belt designs for the area. So how about we introduce uh, the city's first rock garden? Which I think would be nice, right? Let's go ahead and grab a little bit of overgrowth. Up all the old faithful, and then maybe we can go for like a pine garden here. Something a little shorter than that, maybe. Perhaps. Let's move down a size. All right. I think that'll blend in quite nicely with our underground metro station too, which is getting hopefully some use now. Only 18, but well, I guess there'll be more reasons for people to travel over here as the area grows. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about all the dead space under the highway. Um, we could fill it with walking paths and green belt just to help people move back and to between the different sides of it. Which I don't think would be the worst idea in the world. Again... City planner might come for me. <laughs> I'm not sure if they would build a um a walking path under like a big freeway like this. Maybe it's only going to increase the walkability of the city, right? It can't be a bad thing. So the last thing we'll discuss here uh, before we move into some kind of heavy detailing stuff is going to be our little park head. Let's come ahead and grab our fencing and complete the area. Again, I'm not overly bothered about this park area making money. It's very much just for decoration purposes. Now we've got some uh, piers we can use in here as well. So let's throw in a couple of these maybe. Let's go ahead and extend our park area out as well. Just so we can use these piers here. And then we'll come out with our straight road tool. And we'll come into a little bit of freeform. Put this one in there. Trim away a touch of that fence as well and grab a nice little run down into this area. And then let's have a look at forming some park amenities. How about a, a little climbing frame accompanied by an info booth and maybe a couple of restrooms either side. And then we'll bring our path straight through the middle of these. And how about we develop? A little bit of a waterfront gazebo. Maybe let's switch down to just a very basic vanilla dirt path. And just some general kind of smaller trees to sit around this. Okay, and then we can keep our walkable seawall keys going. Um, for whatever ends up lying over here. Which is probably uh, a little bit of distance away yet from kind of getting over there. And then we've even got some more room over here as well. Maybe we can develop a couple of ideas here as well while we have the room let's come ahead and grab a regular part path 
I'm going to bring this down and uh, bring it up in a square so it doesn't connect onto the roads. Don't really want people walking through the fence. Uh, and then let's use perhaps a little bit of a little bit of chessboard action. Trim up these as well so we can kind of box this in. Right, so it's just kind of glitching through there. Let's grab a move it. Just straighten that out a little bit. Probably bring this node back as well. Just tidy it up a touch, nothing serious. And now if this guy wants water, I guess we bring it under the path. City Planner will confirm, probably. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Uh, however, guys, that does feel like a nice base structure. Uh, we've got a parkland to detail here as well. Getting some people using the keys, unfortunately. Actually, we'll move it and fix this. Uh, not really. Can we bring it up? Yes, we can. Does move it fix this glitch? Yes, it does. It does indeed. Okay. Okay, so we can just use move it to shift these pairs back a little bit. Although they do appear to be <laughs> walking down. Oh well, that's okay, right? This is fine. <laughs> Ignore that. Oh, spot the vanilla player, everyone. All right, okay. So we've got kind of our base structure in now. I'm happy with the zonings. Uh, we're going to bring that repeated tree pattern that we had at the start here, which is barely down. Oh my. <laughs> okay. We're going to bring this tree palette. Um, it's like um, Curse of City Planner, right? <laughs> I've been, um, I must have angered the City Planning gods with something I've done today because everything's burning down. And we're going to bring this tree pattern. Uh, open against the waterfront, uh, fill out with lots of fencing and uh, maybe develop some little lunch area for these office workers in this building here. Uh, and then probably bring our little forest pallet down here as well. Uh, and then also head over to the little uh, metro and uh, train interchange that I've uh, destroyed City Planner's zone in here. So probably make a nice little bit of parkland here uh, for these residentials to look out onto. Uh, not, nothing too heavy, just kind of generic green belt stuff. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll move into a detailed time lapse, and then we'll see what we're looking like on the end. So I'll speak to you guys in a minute.
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, a like below is always appreciated. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Again, for the millionth time this episode, please excuse my noobness with the mods. <laughs> I am not used to them, but I think we did okay. I think it was all right. We used anarchy and move it and... Uh, prop anarchy as well i think i don't know what shortcuts i was hitting <laughs> but it seemed to work i um, really happy with this i think it's a nice way to round out um this little head of land that we had left over from the uh, first few episodes and it's also a nice little surround uh, for this highway as well uh, lots of classic green belt and tree detailing um right up my street and i hang around for some uh, cinematics as well and for those arriving from the other builders channels and um, if you have enjoyed what you've seen today maybe consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel uh, we are mainly vanilla city skylines here or vanilla with quality of life mods but otherwise i will shut up and i will leave it there i want to thank you all so much for watching and as always Enjoy the rest of your day.